Hello, everybody. In this video, I will be showing you how to get through the Fort of Reprimand. It's quite easy and quite a small fort. So let's get started. At the place outside, run up to the fort. There will be a lesser omen killer at the main gate. You can either kill him or run past him. He doesn't drop anything when killed though. Run to the back of right corner of the main area and go down the stairs, head straight and turn left into the door. Continue through and go through the next door. Then dare right and kill the enemies there. Jump up on the cages and go to the right. Ahead of you will be a chest with the flame drake talisman plus three in it. Jump over the railing and go back through the door. This time turn right and drop down to the floor below. Kill all the enemies down here, then open the chest. It's a smithing stone plus six. Hope for something better, but whatever. After that, head up the ladder and go out the door. Turn right and go up the stairs on the left side. An enemy will jump out from the right, kill him and progress up the stairs. Continue up the stairs and there will be a sight of grace. There is an omen killer waiting to drop down on top of you. Either dispatch him with spells or just let him drop down and hit him to death. It drops a blessed home shot. Continue on the right path. And inside the room will be the boss of the fort, a black knight. By this point, I'm sure most of you have killed plenty of them. They fight similar to a crucible knight. However, if you have trouble with them, you can contune hand a colossal weapon or use the blasphemous blades weapon art like me. Once you kill him, you will get the ash of war aspect of the crucible wings. Go through the room and up the stairs at the back. Then go up the ladder, then go to the tower and up the ladder there. Once at the top, go and open his chest. It's another cookbook. I swear half of the rewards in the DLC are cookbooks. Anyway, hop on the southeast ledge and then drop down onto the railing below. Continue across the railing and then drop down onto the tent below. And then get the race. Continue forward and on your left will be the lesser omen we saw earlier. You can avoid it and just go up the ladder on the right. At the top of the ladder is another chest with a smithing stone plus eight in it. Now back at the grace, outside the boss room. Behind you will be a hole. Drop down onto the left side, then into the hole. Continue all the way down, and in the room full of corpses. On your left will be another lesser omen killer. Kill him, and he drops a iris of oculation, which is an item that can be used during Quilin's quest and Sword Hand Jolan's quest, and sink the top of the corpses is a rune of Marika, worth 80,000 runes. Continue to the left and out the building, there is an item at the graves, which is Mesmer Soldier Spirit Ashes, and up the ladder, firstly on the left is nothing, and on your right is just a way to get to the boss faster. But anyway, that is the end of the video. I hope you found this helpful or enjoyed. This fort isn't that big it shouldn't take you too long to go through it but anyway if you somehow made it this far thanks for sticking around if you did enjoy the video or found it helpful then please like and subscribe it would really help out the channel and mean a lot to me until next time